Hi guys, wanted to come on here and do this video to show you an update on the book that I created, the journal. Wanted to show you some of the new pages that I created. You guys already know about this right here. It has a pocket right here and you can actually put some stuff on here if you wanted to. Then the next page would be this one. And then I went ahead and inserted some of the story of you know some of the pages from the story I also did this page right here I inserted this right here on true love and then that right here so you could have something to read and then I did this page right here and then this is a little uh, drawing that my daughter did because she knows I really like Jasmine so this is what it looks like you're able to put something here if you want to and there's another pocket right here but I went ahead and put this here since this is, or I could put it here. This is what my um, daughter made for me. So I'm gonna put it right here in the front so you guys could see it a little bit more. It actually looks cuter in the back of the pink, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there just so you guys could see that. And then this is the next page right here and I just put a bunch of, of the music sheets from some of the songs in the Aladdin movie. And then this is another couple of, well, these are some other pages that I created right here. And this is just a card that they were giving out at um, Hobby Lobby and I just thought it looked cute there. So I went ahead and put it there, put some butterflies, put some flowers right here. This is another page right here that I created and it has the lyrics to A Whole New World, the song. And here's another pocket right here or a little belly band kind of what they say that's what that's what they call it here's a pocket here are some roses that i had that my husband and me so i just went ahead and pasted them on here and put a bunch of glitter and paint so that's what i did for that one and um at first i thought it was just an all crack because they were just dry roses but i went ahead and added the paint and the glitter and everything and now you know they're they're fine they don't break or anything and then this is another page. Um, this is a picture that I got from Google. This is a pocket right here. And you could actually add something right here. Now this is a sticker that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I just went ahead and added some ribbon right here because I like the way it looked from the side. So I added that. Here is a picture from one of the storybooks. I went ahead and just scanned it. Added some lace here at the bottom. Here's part of the story. Um, there's a little tab right here that you could put in and take out. You could read the story if you want to. So I have that and I just put a little tab here with a little flower. And then over here, um, you can see that uh, I just added this little card right here, cardstock. Inked it on the sides, added this note right here. So you could have some extra writing room. You could add some, you know, little cards right here if you wanted to. Added a butterfly right here. You can see it has some um, space to write. Put a flat, uh, sorry, a butterfly right here on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry. Um, here, I went ahead and created this little, um, small little, I guess, um, pocketbook. I guess you could call it. And I put this word right here, thankful. And then I have some um, little things right here this little space right here so that you could write and then this is just a card that I ended up making um, go ahead and open that real quick added some lace you could just put some pictures in there or whatever I created this with some um, scrapbook paper and then there's some pockets right here that you could use to stick it in put some pictures right here some little stickers, I mean, a butterfly, some flowers, and a bird. And you could take this off if you wanted to. I'm, just, I'm not going to take it off because I'm going to have a hard time putting it back on with one hand. So, okay. Um, the next thing is I created this one right here. Went ahead and created two bookmarks. So there's this one. There's this one. And here's some note. Um, some more paper. It says notes on there. You could put something right here if you wanted to. Like this you know, a picture or whatever you want. So there's a pocket right there. Then you have this page right here. Created another bookmark. Um, some more space to write right here, just some papers. You can add these right here if you wanted to. 
Um, yeah, just added some mesh and here's some scrapbook paper in the back. There's been a lot of work. This is uh, my relax time. This is what I do when I'm not doing much. I want to relax and stuff. So, okay. So then I went ahead and added some more mesh, added some flowers here, put some more um, stuff that you could write on. I went ahead and put this. I know the owls don't have anything to do with jasmine, but I really like owls and I thought it would look cute. So I went ahead and did that. Here's another little um, insert, like little pocket right there. I got a, I printed this out from Google and I went ahead and put um, like a plastic that I got from where the stickers came in, cut it in a circle and I went ahead and pasted it there. Added these little flowers and some little rhinestones. And here's some more um, rhinestones right here. I got that from um, Dollar Tree. Then I went ahead and did this page right here. So this you could take it out or you can put it right back on. Some writing room. Here's a little pocket that I did with this, um, what do you call it? This heart, this little heart right here. You could actually hold something there if you wanted to. Right here too. Uh, let me take these out real quick. You can actually pick these up and you can see the pictures of Jasmine right there. It's kind of hard to um, think of ideas that are not, you know, the same thing over and over. So hopefully you guys like the book and appreciate all the work that's been put into this because it does take uh, time and effort to create because, you know, anyway, um, I added some more parts of the book. I really like this one where um, Aladdin actually defends Jasmine. So that's why I went ahead and inserted this one from the book. I just went ahead and scanned it. We have several books of Aladdin, obviously, because you know, that's one, I don't know if you know, but I love that story. So anyway, so I got this one too, this page. I went ahead and inserted that. Then there's this page right here. And I thought this one was really, really pretty. I ran out of ink, of the teal ink. So it still looks really, really pretty in this color. I like the way it's really vibrant and it's so yellow and orange and it's just really vibrant. I have some of the story back here. If you wanted to pull it out and read it, it's there. And I went ahead and added a little tab with a little flower so people know that they can go and pull that out and they can read that. And then right here, here's a little pocket where I went ahead and stuck this in. I went ahead and created this a little more writing room right there. Put a picture of Jasmine, a little bit of mesh, some staples. Here's another card right here with this in the back. It just says love on there. And I added some mesh on the back just to, you know, uh, give it a little contrast right there. And I just stick that there. And then here is some more, you know, space to throw some notes in or some cards. So I just go ahead and stick that in there into that pocket right there. And then here's this page. This one I had a hard time with because I wasn't sure how I was going. I just knew I wanted to use these really pretty butterflies that I found at Dollar Tree. So I tried to incorporate that in. I thought this picture would be nice, but then it wasn't coming together. So I kept it really, really simple. So here are all the really pretty uh, butterflies and they're like a 3D kind of butterfly. You, I, only, I was only able to find these butterflies um, in Mission next to Foy's at the Dollar Tree. That's the only place where I was able to find these. I went to other Dollar Trees and I couldn't find them. So if you're looking for them, I went ahead and made this bookmark right here. And it just looks like this. It's just some scrapbook paper. And I went ahead and added this sticker that I uh, found at the Dollar Tree. When I picked up these um, stickers, I went ahead and found those stickers. And just some more cardstock with a little picture, a little sticker of Jasmine for more writing room. Here's this one. I just created this one the other day. I hadn't showed you guys this one. So this one right here, I already had done this in the back because I had attached this mesh here. So I decided to add a sticker right here. And then I really like owls. So I had this little owl tab left over and I just went ahead and stuck it in the back like this. I mean, I know it doesn't look that pretty, but it looks pretty from the front. So I just went ahead and Kept it like that, put some blue um, note uh, paper. And these are just some little labels that my daughter got from a planner. So I just went ahead and put that in there. 
I went ahead and created this one right here, this little um, notepad from scratch. Just took some white cardstock, inked it on the sides, put a picture of Jasmine, added some ribbon, added um, some note paper, put this from one of the stories and cut it uh, and inked it on the sides, added some more label uh, stickers in the back. So here's a pocket and here's a pocket. So if I wanted to put um, it here in the front, I can. It just kind of like wants to fall, so I need to be careful with it not falling. Then I added another um, page from the story, from another story of Jasmine. So I went ahead and added some ribbon and just put a little J right here. And then this is the other one that I created the other day. Um, not sure if I showed you this one, but I went ahead and put a picture of Jasmine, some scrapbook paper. I added this so that I could have a little pocket right here. This is a paper clip and it has some ribbon and a heart and some flowers. Put another sticker of a butterfly. And here's a little flap. If I wanted to put something in here, I could. This is, I think, the last um, page I created um, the night before yesterday. So I went ahead and cut out a picture from one of the Jasmine books, um, scanned it, and then cut the paper. This is a pocket. You could actually put something there if you wanted to. Went ahead and put some cardstock in the back. There's some scrapbook paper, put some cardstock. I went ahead and cut this from this paper that was here, and I just went ahead and inked, inked it, put it on top of the mesh, put some butterflies around. And the really cool part is, is this part right here that you pull out this and I went ahead and put it on a little uh, clothes pin. They're like really mini clothes pins right here. And I went ahead and printed out the map, the, the map from Aladdin, from the genie, you know, from the new movie. So I went ahead and inked it with a bunch of different inks. And I think it came out really, really cute. It actually looks like a little map. Anyway, um, so this is just some craft paper from the Dollar Tree. It's just some brown paper, and I went ahead and inked it on the side. You guys can see. It's just basic brown paper, and I just printed on there. I pasted it on a white paper, and then I went ahead and printed on it, and was hoping for the best, and it came out. So I really, really like the way that this came out. So that's why I put a little magical surprise. Um, I go ahead and put it on this side just so that they can see that there's something there that they need to pull out. I'm just gonna stick it back in here. And I just decided to put this little clothes pin on there so that they know that they have to pull it out. So that is what I've done so far in the book. So hopefully you guys like it. This is what it looks like from the back. If you guys hadn't seen it. Um, that's my book. Let me know what you guys think down below. I've been working on it really hard. Um, I don't do it daily, but when I do have a chance and I'm not so tired, I do do this. Um, I just do it because I really, really like the, the movie and I've seen a lot of um, ladies on YouTube doing junk journals. So that's why I, I tried to do it um, with something I liked. But I think the next one I'll, I'll be doing will be very different. Um, I won't be doing like a Disney theme or anything. I just did this one because I really, really like Jasmine. This is not from the Disney collection. This is actually from an artist that um, drew her. And I went ahead and printed it off. And I thought it looked really, really pretty. I like the colors in her hair and everything. So that's why I picked that one. Anyway, hopefully you guys like it. I do. I really enjoy making it. It's really relaxing. And it just kind of makes me create and think and think outside of the box and what else do I add on here and stuff. Um, the ladies that I usually watch, they usually do a lot of vintage journals. So they do a lot of like um, old style. And I've noticed that some people that have been uh, commenting on my YouTube channel, they've been saying, you know, this is a more modern look. And I wasn't really going for a modern look. Um, I was just, you know, creating, but I guess um, I've gotten a lot of good feedback on it, so hopefully you guys like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Let me know what you guys think.